Good morning, you're listening to FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Ken Parr. This morning, my guest is Russell Grizzle, who's president and CEO with Mannington Mills. Russell, how you doing? I'm terrific this morning, Kim. Yeah, good to be with you. Actually, for those that don't know who you are, you're a graduate from Georgia Tech and then spent a lot of your years with Millican, a Millican veteran, been in the flooring business most of your life. You've been COO at, at Mannington Mills since, I guess, about March of last year. and now you're, Almost two years. Oh, two years. Okay. So now you're president CEO. You've got many of the endearing traits that Tom Davis had as a Southern gentleman and a just a quality, surly guy. Good to well, talk to you. thank you very much. Yeah, Can't sure. For that. So the reason I want to talk to you is that you've bought Amtico. Let's get into that in just a minute. First, let me ask you, I saw you briefly at Surfaces. How did the show go for you? Well, the show was very good. As you know, it was the first time we've gone back to the show for now in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. But while we were there, we picked up a great sense of optimism from everybody that came into our booth. We had terrific traffic. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, our sales were up almost 25% year over year. We're very excited for both going back to surfaces and what we think 2012 is going to be. Well, that's good. That's my next question is how's business? Well, Going back, I'll give you a little history. In 2009, you know, it was a pretty difficult year as it was for everybody in the industry. But mm-hmm. 2010 and 2011, both were nice growth years for us. And in fact, last year, every single business and product category grew over 2010. Mm-hmm. So we think 2012 is getting a little market tailwinds for us going forward, and uh, the worst is over, and we should see some nice uh, recovery starting. That's great. I know you had a somewhat optimistic business plan moving forward, so it's good to hear it's coming to fruition. Most people know that Mannington Mills, a privately owned company that covers most of the bases when it comes to the different flooring surfaces types. I think you've got it all. Yeah, we do. We have probably one of the largest part, product portfolios in the industry. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's talk about Amtico. We just announced at the beginning of the week last week that you had acquired them. Let's talk a little bit about the decision to buy them and kind of the fit within your organization. Okay, well, from a strategy standpoint, we see LVT as a growing market segment. Mm -hmm. Probably the fastest growing product category through the worst recession in the history of our business. Our largest problem during that time has been trying to service on a sourcing program. Mm -hmm. Uh, With this strong growth, we've had great partnership with our supplier, but uh, the delivery service to our customer is not what we wanted it to be, so we want to improve our service. So therefore, we've been looking to get into manufacturing our own LVT domestically. So we looked at that as well as, a, as an acquisition opportunity in LVT. We were able to find some very significant synergies in both cost and sales. That came along about the same time that we had decided that one of the next uh, strategic moves we wanted to make is to begin to enter the international commercial foreign market. So all of it just seemed to fit at the same time. And then when we started looking around for companies, you know, we found Amtico to be a great cultural fit with us, dedicated to style and innovation, and a very strong management team that uh, I think makes us stronger. And they have some, as I said, some experience here in the international markets that we really don't have in-house right now. Yeah, a lot of people may not understand that uh, Amtico, while they're a U.K.-based company, they have manufacturing in eastern Georgia, pretty nice plant. So it gives you, it does give you domestic supply as well as an international reputation and brand strength, doesn't it? Yep. Their their plants, they have two plants in Georgia, one in Madison, mm-hmm. Georgia, and one in Conyers. Yeah. And uh, as you stated, they're both very modern facilities mm-hmm. with and, plenty of room to grow. Yeah. And, you know, most people know that when a private equity firm buys a company, that means that usually after a period of time, they're going to be for sale again. You've actually been kind of monitoring them for a while, haven't you? Well, we have. Uh, Amtico and Mannington have been discussing something now for a number of years Mm -hmm. because I think everyone kind of could see that the fit was pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. But a few years ago, it got fairly serious. At the time, we were just kind of getting started in LBT. I didn't know a lot about it, and we had other opportunities at the time. But now, as we look at it, as I mentioned, the, the strategy, we also think you know the market's coming off of its low point, and uh, this is a category that's been growing, so it's a good time for us to step out and make an acquisition. So we're excited about it. Yeah, actually, and let's talk one one more little uh, key thing I want to key in on here is you know, last year you guys had your Make Some Noise campaign, which is all about Made in the USA. Again, Amtico with manufacturing in Georgia uh, fits right in with that, and prior to that, most of your LVT products were imported, right? All of our LVT products were imported, so this is going to bring a lot of jobs. Uh, Actually, with our plan, there will be some jobs in our facilities here in New Jersey, 
as well as Calhoun, and obviously as we ramp up the Madison and Conyers plants over in East Georgia as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, and let's talk just about their international scope too, and what it does for you. I, again, I was I just got back yesterday from Sao Paulo, and I was at the Brazilian Tile Show, and I turned the corner, and right there was a thirty by ten Amtico booth. So I mean, they're everywhere. They've got a major international presence, and I know you probably. I mean, let me just make that a question. Uh, how, how will you integrate the Amtico brand with Mannington? Well, as you said, they're approximately one-third of their sales are in the U.K., one-third on continental Europe, and one-third in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And as you said, they're beginning to expand in South America. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're looking at other emerging markets around the world. But as we think about how we integrate Amtico, first, I will say in the U.K. and Europe, it will be uh, business as usual mm-hmm. under Amtico. No one there knows the Mannington name, but uh, Amtico has a terrific brand. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to begin to supply them some products from the rest of our portfolio so that they can carry uh, other products to their customer base that they already have established. Mm-hmm. In the U.S., uh, we've got some preliminary ideas, but we've established an integration team, and they'll be working out some of the details, so those are still to be determined going forward. So this gives you a major LVT presence, the, an already built brand. This, this company already was doing very well, and I think with your backing, continu- can continue to grow just under the Amtico name, right? Well, that's what we plan. All right, so you've acquired Burke a couple of years ago, a rubber company on the West Coast. You've acquired Amtico. What other gaps you have? What's what's next? <laughs> well, you know, i just comment, Burke has been a terrific acquisition for us. Mm-hmm. They had a record year last year. Right. Uh, obviously, we acquired Burke in 2008, so it wasn't the best of timing, as right. it turned out. So it was right before the... Uh, recession, but it is over the last two years performed outstanding for us. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't see any further gaps right now. We will have one of the largest product portfolios in the industry, and I would say for our size at least, the largest probably. Uh, We'll continue to monitor that Mm -hmm. for any emerging categories. We want to be a a complete flowing uh, source, but right now we're also investing heavily. You mentioned services. We had probably one of the largest product introductions in our history at services. Mm-hmm. And from a capital standpoint, investment, we're investing heavily in our plants right now, particularly in the resilient sheet and uh, our carpet business. Mm-hmm. So we, and we're doing all this because we think there's plenty of growth over the next few years in our foreign business as it begins to recover. All right, great. Well, this is the first time I've talked to you in your new role. Congratulations to that, and congratulations on MTCO. It's good to talk to you. Again, we've been talking to Russell Grizzle, who's president and CEO at Mannington Mills. You've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily.net.